Hey, people. I want to thank Adriana. I just sold my first t-shirt with a donation. And I know a little bit about screen printing, so I figured I better order one, too. And I want to thank Unmade Music had uh, made this video for me. It's unlisted. And uh, he's explaining the Christmas song about um, the 12 days of Christmas and decoding some of the symbols in it. And he's new. He's got a couple spaces in there. But the people that are interested in what I do, they'd be interested in this. I'll leave a link. So in my last drunken rant, I had read a little bit in uh, Romans 1 and Romans 5. And I was wanting to go back and read down the beginning to get to where I'd run into this Gazetta and the real meaning of that. But it only took the first three words to get me sidetracked. You know, I told you in an earlier movie, you know, the P-A-V in the mark says read the A again, P-A-V-A-L, and Paval means slow. And it's where your words pause comes from, and a, a paw is what polices a winch. And, uh, and all those words come from the, the P-A-U-L, P-A-V-A-L. All has to do with slow and stop, and so it that's that's slow as, and the same here it reads D O V O L O S, and Duval is a valley, of the valley Duval, and then the cries C R X R I S C H R I S, the cries Toa. You know, T O W O Toa to come out slow as the valley as the cries come out, and then this is reading backwards. And so this is a V, and you grab the last letter, which is this U, and so it's a V U O S, the Vus, and then E Y E eyes and of the Vus eyes of and so Vus. Vus means first, yet, still. And so it's slow as the valley as the cries come out. Yet eyes of, you know, yet eyes of. And so I went to look at this, you know, slow as the valley of the cries come out. I've seen that as the valley of tears. And so if you Google valley of tears, you know, it's going to come out with this this fight in Israel in 1973 where they're just trying to cover stuff up but a little bit older than that you know you find this uh, old 1883 art by Gustav Ador it's the valley of tears it's Jesus carrying the cross down but if you go back a little farther you'll find it here in Psalms 84 into the valley of the weeping of the place of weeping, the valley of tears. And we'll see it's a little bit different in the Septuagint. It has a couple markings in there. So we'll grab a copy of that and look over. This so week we can see it's, it's a little bit different. And uh, you see I was talking about my last movie. Sometimes they'll replace this, this wave here with just a hyphen. And that's why I was, when I was reading that word, um, the Ogdoed, I replaced that hyphen with a wave that I believed was there in the original. But it's just a little bit different. And you know, they always say this EN is N, which, you know, the tails read backwards, so it's a B. It's actually a BN, so it means in the time, Ben. And then the wave has you reading this, you know, THT or TET, and then TE or TH. And so, Ben that the the Kool-Aid and you see where the word Kool-Aid come from it's the coil and then aid and then Toa to come out and where a coil aid Toa comes out is in the distillery you know the Kool-Aid comes out of the coil that aids it turns the gas into a liquid and where it comes out is where your liquor you know is distilling off of the beer and so the Kool-Aid comes out of the coil aid. And it's called tears because it just it just drips out. 
And you can see it here in this word. The clout, K-L-A-U-T. And then E, clout of mom knows. It's like I say, you don't see it here. But you see it here, the, the line has you move the M over, M-O-M knows. The clout mom knows. And so clout is a heavy blow with the hand or the hard object. And so the, the clout mom knows, she knows when she drops a tear, boy, it hits you hard. You know, everybody does what mom says when she starts crying. And so the clout what mom knows is not the place of weeping, it's the tears, the clout that mom knows. You know, this is that, this that in the Kool-Aid to come out, and it's, and it's hard to read this with, uh, without any of the markings of the clout that mom knows. And that the Kool-Aid come out, the clout that mom knows. Come, the Kool-Aid comes out in tears. And that's what it's talking about. It's talking about distilling. And so that gives a whole different meaning to where it was talking about here to divide according to branches. You know, that's what's going on here, you know, and these are these are the branches. They're distilling. And so when you're distilling petroleum products, they have a whole bunch of branches that that come out. And uh, the screens will catch different products, but your finer products are coming out at the top. At the bottom, you're getting bitumen, you know, asphalt. And then you get your oils and lubricants, waxes, heavy fuel oil. Then your diesel fuel is coming out on a, on a higher branch. The kerosene, jet fuel coming up a little higher. Petroleum. And then propane. And you, your cleanest stuff is coming out on the top branch and what caused this these are all just hydrocarbon chains and the difference is the length of the chain gives the product and so you know in in french they say a a petros peter is the rock the petros and so that tells me that that's what they were wanting was the petro on the top you know that was the rock the rock of civilization is the petro. Without fuel, everything stops. So in the Hebrew, it was once called the Valley of Tears. And the phrase appeared in some translations of Psalms 84.6. Describes those strengthened by God's blessing as they passed through the Valley of Tears. Was the home of the Baca. But they have since, you know, retranslated that to the Valley of Baca. And it's the only time this word comes up, the baka. But it's, it starts with ovary, O-V-R-Y, the ovary. And then turn around and read it backwards. And your vo. Mm, I don't get that, so I just break it down to make first in C. The ovary, make first in C. And so when you're stilling, you know, you put the seed first in the ovary. And you see, this is the exact same word they call the Hebrew. A Hebrew. The ovary is the Hebrew. And you'll see it if you Google the Hebrew language. You'll see that's how they spell it. The Hebrew. And, uh, and that's because Hebrew means Hebrew. The one that brews liquor is a Hebrew. And he puts it in the ovary. And then the little angle has you reading this, you know, B-O-B the bob and then q m o m q and so the bob come em of the bob come em of and they're reading this as in a muff is in the valley but the bob come em of a bob means to change a change of order a bob and you can also see that word mom in there you know the bob center to come after Q to come after and mom and you can also see the word tears in there you know the I waters are tears and so the ovary to make first in C the Bob come of the Baca 
you know, the Baca is the god of wine. You know, Dionysius and Bacchus are all the same. The god of wine, which in the Latin was just the Baca, possibly derived from the name of a Thracian fertility god, the Bacchus. And so the Ka in Egypt, you know, that's the life-giving spirit. So you may read that the Bob Kamom Fi F E the Fi and then in the B is in the Fi and Ka the ovary make first in C the Bob Kamom Fi in Ka and then the little line down here is reading this M A Y M O Y May and May a Men O M and then N I and then a final N is pronounced as an M, because a final M is pronounced as an S. And so in order to get an N, an M on the end of a word, you have to use an N. And so it's to may see minimum, you know, the minimum. It just comes out in tears a little bit at a time. You can't speed it up or you're going to get trash. And so to may of you know the o in the greek is of it may see or may of minimum is it to who i s i t u e u is it to who the minimum is it to who and then goes g and the final m is pronounced as an s and a g means to carry and an m means from you know to carry from is to goes and so there's a dot in the G, and it's possibly two G's as gogs, as leads. But the G is one of the double letters, you know, like the B and the V, and the D and the TH, and the CA and the CHA. And they forget what the R is, and they say the P doubles as the PH, the Q, or the F. And they say the may have been pronounced like a J. And uh, and it was lost in the destruction of the temple. But, you know, the, the letter is gamel, what we call a camel. And, you know, common sense tells me, you know, it's A-B-G. It's the third letter. And it pronounces it as a C, as it's double, a camel. And so may a minimum is it to who cause, you know, to carry from, to lift from, what causes the minimum of, of just... you. You don't boil your, your mash down. You just put a candle in there about 170 degrees, you know, just a little bit of time to distill your liquor up. And the minimum is may, the minimum is it to who cause. And then this diamond here does the opposite of what the wave does. Instead of grabbing the, the letter behind and put it in front, you grab the letter in front and put it behind. So this this reads backwards. And so it's two core and then B R and then move the U over here, U K, the brook what? You know, not a pool but a brook. You know, you you don't really want to use a pool if you're out distilling in the forest because it's illegal where you're at. You find a brook with, with water passing by to keep your coils cool. Your coil, cool, cool aid all come from the same place. You know, the alchemists were the first people writing. And so, cause to cure the brook, what? And then the little mark above tells you to grab the B again. The brook, what? By, B Y, the by oath, O T H E. The brook, what? By oath more m-u-r-e and so usually say a uh, mother is the rain so this probably reads you know the brook what by o-t at h-e-m at him where to cause to care the brook what by at him where and then you know they go from strength to strength you lick a muchum lie hill a like You know, everybody on the hill gonna like your liquor. So there's no doubt in my mind that that's what they're talking about is distilling liquor here. 
And they got the language so screwed up. It took me a 15 minute movie. Just to explain the first three words in here. And them poor old Jews. They totally created them a language. To try to hide this. You know. They got all the religions. Worshipping a distillery. And they ain't got a clue what they're, what they're thinking. But uh, you know. The ancient alchemy. Everything was a distillery. And that's why. In, in Genesis, you know, the trees of the garden are pronounced the oxygen, you know. The, the trees of the garden are the oxygen. And that's what trees do is they gin the oxygen. They create oxygen. Everything was seen as distillery. The human body was seen as distillery. And you put the seed in the ovary and it brews up. So I'll leave that link to unmade music video if y'all interested in watching that in the top comment down here all right i'm gonna cut this off here good day <laughs>